What's up guys and welcome back to Software Auto Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people are busy playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on Battle.net and then also on Steam. Now, a lot of people are getting this crash error where it crashes to the desktop and it doesn't tell you why it crashed to the desktop. It's just an error that happens and you're on your desktop again and you need to relaunch your game. Now, I know how to fix this. Hope I'm hoping that one of these methods is going to work for you because this also is happening to people right now where it says the application has unexpectedly stopped working now i know a workaway around this all you need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go i hope one of these methods is going to work for you guys whoever's watching this obviously just leave a like if it worked for you leave a comment down below which method worked for you and ladies and gentlemen let's jump straight into it now as i said before people are busy playing this through battle.net and then obviously people are playing it through steam i play it through battle.net i do not play it through steam but i will go through the steam way of fixing this problem as well and also on battle.net all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and then type in settings just like this or you can just click on the start button and go to settings like this and go to update and security and then when you're over here to say check for updates and ladies and gentlemen please go ahead and update your windows make sure your windows is up to date it's very crucial for your machine to stay up to date if you do see this where it says it's an optional go ahead and download and install it i'm not going to do this right now because then you're going to watch me download and install it it's very important to do this once you download that you are going to go to the search button over here and type in device manager just like this and then open up device manager you're going to go to display adapters Go to your graphics card that you're currently running, right click on it and say update driver, say search automatically for drivers and it will let you know if you have the latest graphics card drivers installed. If you are a video user like me and you have GeForce Experience installed, go ahead and open it up just like this and then go to drivers over here and then go to check for updates and it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed for your graphics card, then you know your graphics card is up to date and your Windows is up to date and that's done. All right, hopefully this method works, but I'm going to go over a couple of them. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're playing this game through Battle.net like this, and a lot of people are saying that you should go to scan and repair and check for updates, that that is a solution. Unfortunately, these two weren't a solution for me. It didn't fix my problem. I still got the same errors. Now, how I fixed it is like this. If these two work for you, go ahead and try it out, all right? If it doesn't, go ahead and do this. I'm going to show an explorer and go one back, all right? I'm gonna go one more back. Now, I renamed this folder myself. Yours will just be Call of Duty, all right? That's what it's called when you install this beta version, all right? I renamed my folder to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, then I know where it is located, okay? So now you know where it's located. It's very easy to do. You just click over here and go to Show and Explorer and it'll take you straight into Call of Duty. Now, this is the Launcher EXE. You do not change this. A lot of people are saying you just right click here and say run an administrator. No, that is not what you're going to do. You're going to go into beta, scroll all the way down, where it says cod.exe, which is the largest file over here. You're going to right click on it, do not say run an administrator, go to properties, go to compatibility mode, and then do this. Run an administrator, say apply, change settings for all users, and then do it here as well, and say apply, and say okay, and then say apply, and okay. Or if it just says okay, then just say okay. That's one method of doing this. Another method is, if that doesn't work, go to properties, compatibility mode, go to change settings for all users, untick this box, apply okay now it's unticked here as well and say okay now you're going to go one back for you it's going to be one back you're going to cut this folder out and go one back again and make a new folder right here and you're going to call it call of duty modern warfare 2 just like that call of duty modern warfare 2 but i'm not going to put a space there because there's a folder already like that there we go so there's the new folder i just made i'm just going to refresh it there we go. Now there's nothing inside here. Now I just cut this folder. I said cut on it. Let me just do it again. Cut. And I'm going to put it inside here. Paste. Right? I just cut it. Now I'm going to go over here. This folder is now empty. You're going to delete it since it's an empty folder. And then there's your new Call of Duty in this folder right now. You're going to close out of this. And as you can see, it still says play. But you move the game's files. So it's not going to work. Now what you need to do is you click over here and go on to exit. And then exit 
Battle.net completely and then open up Battle.net again, say yes, and let your Battle.net open up again, let it log you in, and then it's going to look like this. It's going to say install and locate the game. All right, you do not click install, you say locate the game, and you're going to go where your game is installed. All right, mine is installed over here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the folder we just made, click once on this folder, don't double click on it like this, just once on the folder like this, just click on it, highlight it, and say select folder. It's going to do this, it's going to say play, but now it's going to say initializing and stuff like that. Normally it will say initializing, or it will take a little bit of time before it says initializing, updating, verifying, and then it's going to say play. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the method that worked for me, and now my game doesn't crash to the desktop anymore, and I also don't get this happening. All right, and there it's app it just updated it. There it's working now. It says play. All right, so there we go. That's the method on Battle.net. Now you can do the exact same thing with Steam. Now, unfortunately, I don't play COD through Steam, so I'm going to do it with a different game. All right, this is how you do it through Steam. You right-click on your game, go to Properties, go to Local Files, and go to Browse Files. I'm just going to go ahead and do this with Among Us. All right, with Among Us. I'm just going to do it with Among Us, and go to Common, One Mac, and then there's Among Us right there. So let me just do this. Make a new folder like this, and I'm going to call it among us as well just like this so i know that it's among us among us all right just like this but i'm going to call it among us new right because i already have a folder like that you can't duplicate files all right so i'm going to call it among us new now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the among us folder take all of these things inside here so you're going to take your card and say cut go into the new folder paste it in there and leave it there right now among us is over there right and it's empty okay now what you're going to do is this you're going to right click on call of duty mine's among us you're going to click on call of duty and you're going to say uninstall you're going to say uninstall like this and now you're going to say install but before you say install you're going to go where your games are installed on steam so like this steam install go to steam apps common and then there's among us new now i'm just going to keep it like this and say install say next it's going to say create create local game files and i'm going to pause it like that all right so what you're going to do is you're just going to right click on it again and then you're just going to say uninstall and say uninstall right you're going to open up that folder again now there's an among us folder that it made all right now you're going to go to among us new which is basically cod okay people's going to get confused because i'm saying among us the whole time because i'm doing this with a different game but you you will understand what I mean by how to do this, right? Because this is going to be Call of Duty, right? Not Among Us. You're going to go into this folder and say cut, just like this, and then go to the folder it just created, which is empty. You're going to paste it, right? Now you're going to delete this one, delete it, right? And now you're going to say install, and you're going to say next, and it's going to say creating local game files, discovering existing files for Call of Duty, that's what it will say, and boom, it's ready to play, and it will be on your desktop like that. Call of Duty will be right there for you to play. That is how I fixed my game, and that's how I fixed my friend's game that's playing this on Steam. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to your YouTube channel, if you're new year, and as always, peace out.